Hello and welcome to MaryCast. This is Dr. Mark Miravalli filming MaryCast live from the shrine of the Lady of All Nations in Amsterdam, Holland. My friends, there's so much we can say about these powerful, historic, supernatural messages. But during our time together in Amsterdam, I simply want to give you a summation of some of the keynotes that the Lady of All Nations gives to the world. It is not an exaggeration to say that the headlines of today, headlines of economic disasters, of natural disaster after natural disaster, of unusual climate changes, of geopolitical battles in the Middle East, in the Balkans, in North Korea versus South Korea of the past and continuing threat of North Korea, uh, prophecies concerning China, all of these things. The headlines of today were prophesied 50 years ago. And for the rational person, that bespeaks something supernatural. That says no human being could have predicted these things over a half century ago. There are professors of national security that tell us that the combined knowledge of the United States CIA and the Russian KGB in the 1950s did not have the information this Dutch woman had. And it did not come from her. It came from Our Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mother. On May 31st of 2002, the bishop of this diocese, the Harlem Amsterdam Diocese, Bishop Joseph Maria Punt, made a statement of supernatural character, supernatural authenticity regarding the messages and the apparitions of the Lady of All Nations in their essence. So why would Our Lady 50 years ago prophesy things like unusual climate changes and, and untold economic disasters and even things very specific, uh, things as specific as uh, Israel becoming its state, uh, a red flag flying over China, war in the Balkans, a division between North Korea and South Korea, a man on the moon, the Second Vatican Council. Uh, why would these come? Well, she answers that. She says, my signs are inherent in my words, meaning that somewhat unlike Lourdes and Fatima, where there's the possibility of coming and getting a physical miracle, which is a great gift and, and very profound, Our Lady is saying, this miracle is in the message. I'm going to predict things in this message that is going to give you evidence that this is of God. And that's the power of the Amsterdam messages, the predictions, the social, geopolitical, um, even economic predictions. But we must always keep in mind the purpose of the predictions. The, the purpose of the prediction is, is not to be a soothsayer of world events. It's to get us to live the message. It's to help us realize that these are of God and that Our Lady has asked for specific actions, specific action steps to be taken uh, by members of the faith, by people throughout the world, by the Holy Father, to bring a gift of promised peace to the world. What, for example, has Our Lady asked for? She has asked the Lady of All Nations for a prayer to be prayed throughout the world. At one point she says, whoever or whatever you are, I ask you to pray this prayer. And as we were here in front of the image, the original image of the Lady of All Nations, I want to go to a February 11th, 1951 message, which was uh, given, this actually took place in Germany, but it was given with a clear indication that this prayer is not only to be prayed by everyone, but that this prayer could bring peace to the world. It is a prayer to Jesus for a new Pentecost, for a new coming of the Holy Spirit into the hearts of all nations. So the power of this prayer is twofold. One, it is to prevent degeneration, disaster, and war which are the very things which are dominating our headlines today. Number two, it is a prayer that prepares for a proclamation of a dogma or a solemn definition by the Pope regarding the roles of Our Lady, the, the motherly roles of this spiritual mother as co-redemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate. I'm going to go to this February 11th, 1951 message, which was uh, given on the anniversary of the apparitions of Our Lady of Lourdes. And Reading from the account of Ida, Our Lady says the following, and I quote, 
pray before the cross, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, send now your Spirit over the earth. Let the Holy Spirit live in the hearts of all nations, that they may be preserved from degeneration, disaster, and war. May the Lady of all nations, who once was Mary, be our advocate. Amen. The lady says this prayer so beautifully and impressively, no one in the world could do it as she did. She stresses the word now in send now your spirit and all in let the Holy Spirit live in the hearts of all nations. She also pronounces the word amen so beautifully and solemnly. While still standing in front of the cross, I pray it repeating the words the lady recites to me. It is as if the words are imprinted in my mind. I now see them written in large letters. The lady continues, Child, this is so simple and short that everyone can say it in his own language. Before one's crucifix, and those who have no crucifix say it to themselves. This is the message which I want to give this very day. For I am now coming to say that I want to save souls. All of you, cooperate in this great work for the world. If only every child of man would try to live up to this for oneself. Now, in this message, what do we see? We see Jesus being prayed to to send the Holy Spirit into the hearts of all nations. That and only that is what's going to stave off these three areas of elements, which are now our headlines, degeneration moral decay, family breakdown, things like divorce, abortion, contraception, attacks on the basic concept of good and evil, human trafficking, the list goes on and on, the levels of moral disaster that we're facing today. Secondly, natural disaster. It is now simply a documented fact that we are having more natural disasters in the last 10 years than in any other recorded period. In the first six months, in the United States, there have been over five one billion dollar natural disasters, and that's just the United States. This is obviously a message for the world. We know what's happened in Japan, the floods that have taken place in Brazil, claiming 600, the floods in Australia and New Zealand. What is God saying through this? But return to Him. And in fact, Our Lady is asking the Holy Spirit to be brought into the hearts of all nations to prevent these things. And and indeed, the Blessed Mother, as the Mediatrix of all graces, has the power to stave off even natural disasters, but as well the third component, war, terrorism, rumors of war. These plague every continent at our present time. So the prayer that Our Lady gives is asking Jesus to send the Holy Spirit into the hearts of all nations to prevent the great calamities which face us in the 21st century, and in a special way in 2011. The prayer ends, May the Lady of all nations who once was Mary be our advocate. Now, in 2006, there was an adjustment to the prayer with consultation with the Vatican Commission, the Congregation for the Doctrine of Faith, that replaced who once was Mary with the Blessed Virgin Mary in an effort to avoid any pastoral misunderstanding as if the Blessed Virgin Mary is not still, or the Lady of All Nations is not still Mary. But the prayer continues to have a great power. And as Our Lady says, this prayer has the ability not only to stave off great natural disaster. This was evident even in a letter that the former Philippines president, Gloria Arroyo, sent to Pope Benedict asking for the proclamation of the fifth dogma of co-redemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate. And in her letter, as president of the Philippines, she said to the Holy Father that she's doing this to prevent degeneration and disaster for the peoples of the Philippines. But the Lady of All Nations wants this for all nations. So it is our task to get this prayer, to pray this prayer, to pray it with conviction, with a love and a conviction of heart, so that indeed, these things can be mitigated. And ultimately, this prayer is also the foundation for the ultimate request that Our Lady makes in the Amsterdam apparitions, the request for a proclamation of the dogma of Mary, co-redemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate. Stay with us in our next segments as we continue from 
the location of this historic supernatural apparition to bring you the heart of the message of the Lady of All Nations. This is Dr. Mark Mirvali with Mary Cast saying thank you and God bless you. Mary Cast.